Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strasser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 237, I wanna talk about the brand new NIST Cybersecurity Framework 2.0. We're gonna break this down. NIST uh, Cybersecurity Framework, or CSF 2.0, is a guide designed to help bolster your organization's cyber defenses. And it's the latest version of one of the most broadly accepted and utilized cybersecurity frameworks in the world. As cyber threats have continued to evolve at an unprecedented rate, we think understanding and implementing this framework is more crucial than ever. And for resilience professionals, not only is it important from a cybersecurity standpoint, but it contains key criteria to understand controls that should be in place under the cybersecurity framework for availability, recovery, and incident management, which we would think of as a business continuity, disaster recovery, crisis management, and crisis communications. Now, the NIST framework has always been a beacon for organizations that are aiming to fortify their technology, aiming to fortify their digital environments. This latest iteration, 2.0, is a pretty significant leap forward. The new framework includes heightened benchmarks, tighter controls, and strategies that will really help you think about how to approach cybersecurity differently. And as most control frameworks are going to evolve to utilizing this framework, you will want to be familiar with it and start to implement its controls inside of your organization. At its core, NIST 2.0 um, comprises six essential components that lay the foundation for a solid security approach for your organization. But it's not just about adapting to threats, it's also about building in the right defenses, the right surveillance, and the right re reaction strategies to address these cybersecurity challenges. One significant change we see with NIST uh, CSF 2.0 is its focus on governance. It is, um, its evolution here puts cybersecurity within the domain of enterprise risk management, emphasizing that robust cybersecurity defense goes beyond just technology. It is about the strategic choices and guidelines your organization makes and puts into place. The framework is not just a set of guidelines. It's really set up as a toolkit designed to allow you to apply these cybersecurity principles and controls across your organization. It has online guides and sector-specific strategies that will really help the businesses of your business of, and a business of any size and scope or industry sector effectively tailor your cybersecurity strategies effectively. NIST CSF 2.0 starts with an understanding of your current cybersecurity posture. It involves conducting a gap analysis, developing an action plan for implementation or adaptation, and prioritizing areas that require immediate attention and then long-term improvement. The adoption of NIST CSF 2.0 is really just the beginning. It Embracing this is about joining a global effort towards having a more secure digital space, a safer digital space for businesses to operate in. It's also about contributing and benefiting from a worldwide web of cyber protection um, with your partners and others that you're working with. To delve deeper into how your organization can leverage the NIST Cybersecurity Framework 2.0, we would encourage you to look at the various webinars and trainings being offered by the National Institute of Standards, um, where they have panels and videos with industry experts and companies that have successfully navigated and integrated this framework into their cybersecurity strategies. We, there you can learn about the challenges that they've faced, the strategies that they've employed, and the benefits that they've reaped from doing so. That's it for this brief overview of the NIST Cybersecurity Framework 2.0. We've linked to our more in-depth article about the new framework, and of course, you can look at the framework itself on the NIST website. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.